This video is a step-by-step -step explanation of how to change the main piston cup seal in a BJE pneumatic oil filter crusher. The demonstration in this video will be done on a C4 crusher, but the process is similar for the C6 and TT12 model crushers as well. Step one is to disconnect your air supply and make sure that your working area is safe. The next thing to do is to clean up the work area, paying special attention to the top plate and the bolts. Next, disconnect the push to connect air line. Loosen and remove the long bolts that hold the top plate onto the crusher. Remove the top plate. Lift off the cylinder straight up and then inspect the inside. Look for any scoring or deep scratches that might prevent a good seal once you put everything back together. Loosen and remove the top hex nut and washer from the ram assembly. I used a screwdriver and the cross-drilled hole in the crushing shaft to give myself little leverage and to keep the whole assembly from turning. Remove the old seal. Install your new seal. Use thread locker and install the washer and hex nut on the top of the ram assembly. Be careful not to over tighten it. Reinstall the cylinder straight down over the ram assembly and then wipe off any excess grease. Reinstall the top plate back on top of the cylinder. Make sure that the o-ring is properly seated in its groove. Reinstall the ring of long bolts hand tight using thread locker and then check for squareness. In this C4 crusher, the two longer bolts go in the back.
Torque the ring of bolts to 40 foot-pounds in a star pattern. Reconnect the push to connect airline and tighten the set screw again. You can now reconnect the air supply to the crusher. To test the unit, extend the ram and then at the bottom of the stroke pause and listen to see if you can hear any air leaking by the main seal. After that, retract the ram and then you're ready to use the unit. That's ready for operation. Excellent.